had our um, athletes day today. I would think there's probably 20 or so martial arts styles that are on the floor today, right? Uh, and they all uh, interacted with each other like brothers and sisters in martial arts, which is a very old fashioned idea, but it worked really well. Everybody left their ego at the door. There was no um, harsh words. It was a fantastic and very positive day. I think that's why it's important that we run these sort of athlete days so we're no longer competing with each other and maybe we're completing each other as martial artists. Today was a great day. We had a lot of uh, really talented, humble martial artists from around the country coming together, um, teaming up, having a great time, throwing down, getting along, exchanging ideas and having lots of fun. Today we had an event here in Sydney, in beautiful Sydney, and there were some seminars. We taught and we tricked and we had fun. It's great. So you're going to go left leg up? I taught the kids a combo from a sampler that I made, and um, I taught the other kids a combo that Valu taught me. I have a huge respect for martial arts, whether that's just biased because I was brought up on it, and also because if it wasn't for it, I wouldn't have found tricking. For me, being a martial arts athlete uh, is my life. I simply don't know any better. You control your whole body. Yeah. You can, you can punch, you can kick. You're strong. There's, no, there's nothing else like it. I've noticed from my uh, teaching experience and being in the martial arts for a long period of time, I noticed that talent can be taught. A lot of kids these days have surprised me as to how much they could take it, you know, take it to the next level and when, once they apply themselves, really improve in, in, in martial arts. Just the character element, if they're good kids, you know, they're humble, down to earth, and they have a great work ethic, and that's, I think that's what needs to be um, displayed here today and I think that's what we need to put forward around the world, definitely. I think everyone needs to do martial arts. A hero is someone who strives to be the best they can be. For me, a martial arts athlete is what I, in, in Invincible Worldwide, what I term as a hero. Someone who can inspire and pretty much uh, help the whole world become better. From what I've learned is, in the old days, Kung Fu martial artists were, were considered heroes of society. They were virtuous, they were righteous, um, and, and you know, if everyone is like that today, imagine the world would be so much better. When we first heard of Hyper, we, you know, we, we straight away thought, look, this is going to be another American thing, you know, and we're going to try to do whatever we can to emulate it. But to bring, to bring it down here, to have Tyler Weaver mingling with some of the younger athletes, I think it means a lot to them. Your turn, man. Oh! I think Invincible Worldwide and Hyper have very similar values. We both want to inspire millions of people out there, just simply elevate the world. You know, elevate kids. Let's have a better future. You know, everyone's really getting behind it. I, I see it just getting bigger and better all around the world and it's great to be a part of this.